Back here at home, Israel's ongoing siege of Rafah has many Palestinian Americans on edge. And some of them are waiting to hear back from relatives who fled the region and are really scrambling for shelter still. Our Andrew Ramos has that story. With cases and plenty of paperwork mounting at her desk, staying focused has been incredibly challenging for Fida Ilaidi. Her mind, like many Palestinians around the world, consumed with the horrific images that continue to come out of Gaza. You know, every day we sort of wake up anticipating the worst news and brace ourselves for that. The Bridgeview-based immigration attorney has a number of cousins, aunts and uncles who were in Rafah when an Israeli airstrike over the weekend bombed a tent camp. Thankfully, they fled just in time, but it was a grueling 48 hours before she was able to confirm they were okay. In this recent photo, smiles cover up their fear. At this point, they're, they're just expecting that their deaths will come soon. They, they understand that, you know, world powers are not interested in, in stopping this. The deadly attack on the camp in Rafah sparked global outrage, where 45 civilians were killed and hundreds more injured, according to the Gaza Health Ministry. The horrifying imagery that flooded social media prompted the UN and World Health Organization to reiterate their call for urgent humanitarian aid. My family is overwhelmingly children, and um, I don't know how their needs are being met. If the bombing stops tomorrow, the deaths will continue on and on and on. Local faith leaders and doctors who have been on the ground in Gaza also reissued their calls for a ceasefire, pressing the Biden administration to take more action and guidance from the UN Human Rights Council, which has found reasonable grounds that Israel is committing genocide in Gaza. This is a man-made disaster. While Ila Aidi's relatives find refuge at another tent camp in southern Gaza, she says hope for the future is all she has to cling on to. It's a global obligation now to, to make amends and to help make Gaza whole again. Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News.